Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you a really easy pizza dough recipe. So in this bowl, I'm starting with one and a half cups of warm water. The water is heated to about 110 degrees. You don't want it too hot or it can kill your yeast. Um, and then I'm also adding half of an ounce of yeast to my water and I'm just mixing it till the yeast is dissolved. And about five minutes later when it's foamy, I'm gonna go ahead and add a tablespoon of sugar and a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil, and then also a teaspoon of salt. And then I'm just gonna mix this all together as well until everything is fully incorporated. To the bowl, I'm gonna add four cups of all-purpose flour, and I'm just gonna use my spatula to kind of mix it together until most of the flour is completely incorporated, and then I'm gonna switch to using my hands just to make sure that all of the flour is fully incorporated into the liquid and that there's no dry patches left. So I'm not really kneading the dough here at this point, I'm more so just like I said, making sure that all of the flour is incorporated into the liquid. And then once I feel like my dough is good, I'm just gonna form it into a loose ball and set it aside for a second while I get another bowl and I'm gonna pour a couple tablespoons of olive oil into the bowl and then I'm gonna get my dough and I'm just gonna roll it around in the olive oil until it's like completely coated in olive oil. No dry spots at all, completely coated. And then I'm going to put a towel over it and let it rise in a warm spot for about an hour. After an hour, it should be double in size, double in size and it should also be light and fluffy which is what we have here. And I'm just gonna sprinkle some flour on my working surface, make sure obviously that it's a clean working surface um, wherever you're gonna put your dough. And then I also have my oven preheating to about 400 degrees while I'm doing this. So I'm dumping out my dough and I'm just gonna divide it into four. Um, so this dough recipe will make four individual sized pizzas or two large pizzas. And then I'm gonna just shape each quarter here into a little ball. I'm gonna do it kind of tight and leave it to rest. Um, and then I'm gonna let my dough rest in these little balls for about 10 or so minutes before I start rolling them out and putting them on my pans. So while my dough balls are resting for about 10 minutes, I am going to grease up a cast iron skillet. So I'm adding about two tablespoons of olive oil to the bottom of my skillet and using a brush just to spread it out everywhere. And then I'm going to get my dough and just kind of lightly pull from the middle out. And I realized I probably should have used half of the whole dough for this big pan because um, this dough ended up being pretty thin, trying to roll it out big enough to fit in the bottom of this skillet, but we just made it work. You know, this is real life. <laughs> So I am just pulling and pulling and pulling and then I'm going to go ahead and put that into my cast iron skillet and make sure it's fitted. And then I'm going to drizzle a couple of teaspoons of olive oil over the top and use my little brush again to spread that all over. And then on top of that, I'm going to sprinkle some garlic salt on the top just to give my crust a little bit of a flavor before I put any sauce and toppings. And then for this, I am just using a store-bought sauce today and I'm just going to um, obviously put to your liking, I was making this particular pizza for my husband and he likes a lot more sauce than I do. So I would have stopped about here for mine. <laughs> he likes more sauce. So just put as much sauce as you like on your pizza. And then we also put some mozzarella cheese down. And 
And you can really just use like whatever toppings you like with this. We make this every year for New Year's and everybody puts different toppings on their individual pizzas. And then my husband just wanted pepperonis and mushrooms. So I went ahead and put those on his pizza. Once our pizza is all loaded with our sauce, our cheese, and our toppings, we are going to stick it in the 400 degree oven. And I leave mine in there for about 15 to 20 minutes because um, I want to make sure that it's cooked all the way. Um, as always, use caution <laughs> when you are working with hot stuff in the kitchen. Um, and then there's another pizza I did a smaller size for me, and that one had, um, you know, onions and jalapenos and stuff like that on it and here is my husband's pizza once it came out of the oven it looks delicious and here i'm just checking the bottom to make sure that it is cooked all the way which it is and then we are just going to um, pull these out our cast iron skillets are seasoned really well they're new but we've seasoned them we took a lot of care to season them um, so these pizzas kind of just slip right out which is really nice and here's my pizza that has everything on it onions mushrooms jalapenos it's really good and yeah so that is it for this recipe i hope that you guys enjoyed it if you did please let me know down below and don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video